Hey guys, welcome back to Westy Baby Dolls Gaming Channel. Today we're on the forest and I'm going to show you how to get the rebreather. It's located in Cave 5, which you can see the two entrances here on the map. So I'm going to take you to the entrance that has the rope down to it. There is a walk in entrance, but I just found this one first. So here we are, we're going to slide down the rope. You don't want to get your light out so you're not going down in the dark. You're going to hear the monsters and you just want to slide down. If you press the analog stick down you do tend to go down faster which helps but you do run out of breath quite quickly doing this. As we get closer to the bottom you'll hear the monsters a bit more. I think you can see them. So I always make sure before I go down these caves that I have a good weapon and some armor on. So I have the katana sword, oh, my arrow and bow. So we get the sword out. Just chop them up. So I have to make sure they are definitely dead. So don't jump up and get you from behind. I'm just going to quickly chop these bodies up. I'm trying to collect the trophy for the bodies. So you'll find some other things in this area like the passengers, a whole lot of loot, a can of hairspray, some toys, and a picture from Timmy. And once you collect all your loot that you need, Find that there's a can of hairspray in here, and here's the toy leg. So you want to head over this way, and you'll see some more passengers. Obviously, the money that they've dropped. That's the passenger. Then you want to try and find some flight chairs that are surrounding a light. Once you found that, you just head back down over this way. You'll come across um, some wooden planks. So you want to find the ones that have the crosses on it. Here you'll find the picture from Timmy. Once you've picked the picture up, you just want to come up to the wooden doors with the cross on it. And you just want to break it down. And this is when I just quickly put some more armor on because there are some more monsters down in the bottom of this cave. But if you're lucky and you go down quiet enough, they will be sleeping. So I like to load up with the bow. I'll go on with my sword first just in case they are alive. You can hear him snoring. Come in quietly, you will be able to kill them while they sleep. There they are. So now that I've located them, I'll step back a bit. I'm going to make some fire arrows with some arrows, cloth, and booze. Combine them. And I'll add my bow to the middle to make sure I equip the fire arrows. So, light them on fire. 
walk back up. Still can't quite see him, but if maybe in this direction. Oh no, there's a rock there. And there's the third one. Okay, so we'll just shoot this one now. I can line it up. And we'll shoot this next one. Lucky last. Hey, let's light this one on fire. Okay. So there's not much in this actual bit of cave, but I'll show you around just in case. These ones are here are just always full of cloth, so if you need more cloths, look for the Louis Vuitton looking kind of bags. I have my arrows back. Chop might take some of these because you can actually eat the legs and the arms if you're really desperate for food. So if you head over here you'll find a little, not really a pond, more like a puddle. And just some more medicine. It's always good to make sure you have all the medicine you can carry. And you see this wooden plank kind of door. And some flares, they're always handy. And I think this one has clothes in it. Yes, it does. Which I'm carrying too much of. It's alright. There's. If you break down the store, there's a whole lot of gory things. Hearts. And a hard helmet. If we head back to where we killed those monsters. Stop down of loot. I see a rope. And you just want to go back down this rope. There's just a whole lot of skulls in this area. Nothing else. You want to go back down a bit further. So you won't actually come across any main monsters, just a few babies after you do get the rebreather. So you don't really have to worry about having your sword. So you know, look around. Some skulls. in this direction. It's just skulls here. I know there's something to pick up along here. There it is. The Lord Saviour Jesus. I don't think Jesus is going to be saving anyone in this little island. So you're going to come to a big Water hole, and over here is a dead body, and there is your rebreather and some egg canisters. So, your rebreather goes above your bag just over here. You want to equip it, and then you can jump into the water. It's got a light attached to it, which is always handy. And if you don't go back, the way you came and you go through the water you will be able to find a rusty axe which I'll show you how to get this time. Just want to swim. You will become really cold when you get out of the water. Like even while you're in the water it shows you getting cold. So unless you have the warm suit you want to have a, like a fire weapon. So, I'm going to come up to the area where there is the babies. 
Icicles on your screen there. So Hug the water for a bit. I'm gonna get your sword out. Here they are. You're all dead now. Okay, so here I have put my upgraded stick cloth on it. You can light that on fire. It's very handy to keep you warm. And there is gas tanks, sorry, oxygen tanks around, and a box of soda pop. Just have a quick drink. I need something. Don't forget to grab the can, you just drank. I'm going to find more flares soon. Just trying to make cut that blues bottle. It's going to be filled with flares. I like to put all the flares into the gun and then I can pick more up. Okay. And from here, you want to go back into the water. So if you start swimming into this general direction, you'll come up to the next part of the cave. You don't have to swim too far. get your warm suit out again or your fire stick or fire weapon. You find more oxygen tanks and flares. Not in that direction. And then when you get here, you're going to see a whole lot of rocks, and they do come in handy if you don't have rocks on you already. So you want to place the rocks, and then we'll open that door. Rocks there. And I'll just pick up the rocks I just got rid of. And then we're going to go in this general direction. It's really dark in this area. What I might do is fire flare. I'll pick up the bullets. It's always good to have lots of bullets for when you do get the gun. So in this area you're going to come across a few Bibles. Lots of flares. And a magazine. So you take as much as you can from this area. So again, I'm going to Add all my flares to my gun. Get back, it's full now. Okay. So you come over here, you'll find some gas cans and fire. I don't know if it's a good idea lighting this next to the gas cans. 
nothing happens. Okay, light. Then over this area, you will find the rusty axe. There it is. Makes chopping down trees a lot quicker. And a nice picture of Virginia. So I'm just going to add one of my gas canisters, like oxygen canisters, to my rebreather so I can pick up some more. And then have a look at what's over here. And it looks like some people died worshipping. Okay, now we want to make our way out of the cave. So, go back into the water, swim for a little bit. Make sure you're going in the right direction. when she goes deep into the water. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Okay, let's make our way back up. And here we are at the top. So I might put my warm suit on this time. So I have to keep lighting the fire. Come across some skulls again, and then just a uh, few skulls and sticks. I'm gonna cl start climbing up now. Longer than I remember. Getting to the top now. Okay, and then when you look over to this side, here's a fire, chocolate bar, and here is a photo. So that location there on that photo is where some gun parts are. And I'll show you how to go get the gun parts in another video. We're just going to swim. I'm going to find the exit to the cave soon. Right. So we'll just keep swimming, and after a while, we'll come to a kind of like a dead end, and then you want to look up. Coming up there. Start going up, and there's the exit. And you'll come up to Geese Lake. It just happens to be my main camp. Be careful when you're building in Geese Lake that you don't actually put anything over the hole to get out of the cave. So, this one over here. And there you go, everybody. That's how you get the rusty axe and the rebreather. Hope this video helped you. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my page. And let me know if there's any other forest videos, dupes or how-tos you'd like me to do. Till next time.